can you live off a million dollars? Is one million dollars even a lot of money these days? Depending on who you ask, you can get some wildly different answers. But in the next couple of minutes, you're going to find out for sure whether or not one million dollars is enough for you to live off of in perpetuity. Now let me start out by saying that in any case, unless you're close to dying, your money won't last long if you just keep it sitting in the bank. It amazes me that when I talk to people outside of my entrepreneurial or financially minded circle, that they think that this is what it means to, quote, live off your money, keeping it in the bank and just withdrawing what you need to survive. This is probably the worst way to go about it, actually. Not only are you not using your money to make more money, but money in the bank actually loses value each year due to inflation. In other words, it's a terrible choice. The better thing to do if you were to magically end up with a giant lump sum of cash would be to invest in the stock market, preferably something relatively safe and low maintenance like index funds. These don't really require any knowledge about investing, although obviously it would still be a good idea to learn about them. And historically, the return has been about 10% per year after fa or, excuse me, before factoring inflation. Here's the important part and actually answers the question. When it comes to financial independence and retirement, there's something called the 4% rule. Based off of historical data, this rule basically states that at your time of retirement, the period when the income stops and you just want to live off of your investments, you can withdraw 4% of whatever you have invested at that point each year and increase it each year in accordance with inflation. So for a million dollars, this would be $40,000 the first year, and let's say $40,800 the next year with inflation being at 2%. This number, 4%, ensures that your total assets ultimately shouldn't go down over time. The stock market returns an average of 10% a year, and you're withdrawing 4%, again, plus inflation. Withdrawing less is even safer, but withdrawing more starts to get quite risky. Therefore, could you live off a million dollars? Yes, if your annual expenses were $40,000 or less. Otherwise, you'll need to wait until your nest egg grows a little bit larger. If you're interested in learning more about this concept, as well as other aspects of financial independence and early retirement, such as where to invest, what to invest in, how to comfortably, excuse me, comfortably cut expenses without sacrificing quality of life, I happen to sell a course on this topic, which I'll link to in the description. Now for the second part. Is a million dollars a lot of money? It can be. I mean, $40,000 a year isn't anything to scoff at. That's not far off from the average household income in the United States. That being said, you have to think about situations that make you uncomfortable, things that can force you to dip into that investment. I mean, what happens if a family member gets cancer or your house burns down and insurance doesn't cover all of it? These are things that nobody really likes to think about, but unfortunately become a reality for far too many people. This is why I personally believe that it's so important to set your targets higher than what you expect you'll need, and look for ways to create other income as well. Fortunately, it's never been easier to start some sort of side hustle. Any income you take from that instead of your investments will only allow your investments to grow even bigger, helping to protect you in the event of emergency. So what I want to know is do you think that $1 million is enough to live off of, and if not, what do you plan to set your number at keeping the 4% rule in mind? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a great day.